Previously on Tunnel 9 Free to Play, I showed you how I farm and steal fast loot. Today we're going to start using those balloon armies that you guys love. Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Joe and welcome back for episode 12 of the Town Hall 9 free-to-play series. Today, we're going to take a look at the Balloonian Armies. You guys love the Balloonian Armies for farming. It's great for overall dead bases, gold, elixir, dark elixir. I'm not going to lie to you though. I really love that P.E.K.K.A. Army that we were using. And if you haven't tried it for yourself, make sure you try it out. I'll link it up above my head there. Uh, before we move on to anything else within this video, I need to let you know about a free gold pass that I'm giving away for the January season. So if you're not in our Discord server, go down to the description below click the link join in there and then get into that giveaway section and make sure you leave a reaction for your opportunity to win a free gold pass uh, anyway so getting back into the material here it's been about a week since our last episode and I've done a lot of things I was out of town for a couple of days and I was doing family things for the holidays and stuff like that um, so we did continue to progress while we were gone we did uh, a couple of levels on our or actually one level on our expos that are now level two and we've also upgraded this Tesla to level six the Queen is now level going to level 18 and then we've also done our air defenses and our baby bombs so we're going to continue to work on traps a little bit we're still upgrading heroes and then in the laboratory i finished the level six balloon as you can see we got level six balloons now and i also upgraded our jump spell to level two because we needed the additional time on that jump spell 20 seconds just wasn't enough and we went ahead and put the baby dragons in since we had the elixir to do so anyways let's see what else do we have to do here so we got some icons here let's go ahead and claim unbuild it build 100 builder hall okay yes we will we'll take free 30 gems right and then let's see here we got a social tab that's filled up so we got overlord from sl friends we got shadows who doesn't have a shield we'll give him a few days to get that a run broin from battle elite that's my clan and then we got recon in section awesome guy and then also mellow from forever elite so there we are thank you guys for adding me here on the joe v6 account and let's see we still have clan games that we need to claim but we can't claim them just yet I got to hold off for another day or so because we got a hero book that we cannot claim I claimed one down here in the silver pass and I was uh, I kind of forgot about the clan game so <laughs> it is what it is right so we're gonna hold off on that we're gonna get that queen finished out she's got 10 hours we're gonna get the dark elixir to put her down again use a hero book just to claim a hero book so that's a good thing right all right so let's go ahead and get into this army that you guys are waiting to see we got one here this is a replay from Buck Nasty and so what I found with the Lunian army and so for the, you know overall I'm more of a ground user I've always been more of a ground user never really could get the pathing of the balloons or the timing of the balloons down but in this situation when it comes to balloons you got a dead base here and a lot of you are probably saying oh that's a dead base you know that kind of sucks well that's kind of what you're looking for is dead bases for the balloons and the minions and then you get one lava hound in your clan castle to block the air defenses now this is obviously a rush town hall 10 that's been dead a while 700,000 golden elixir on the base and the queen got smoked by the balloons being really close to a defense so a really poor placement on her part or on the defensive part and I mean when it comes to this army you're just allowing your balloons and, and, and saving your spells for proper spell placement in order to get those balloons around the base to take the defenses down that way the minions are able to clean up the loot so this army was like 34 balloons and 30 minions and so that's one army let's go ahead and speed it up that way you can see the army for yourself and then I'm going to get into one of my replays and we might do some live in the video. I'm not really sure yet. We'll see how it works out because we got a couple of replays that we're going to take a look at first and uh, see how it works out for us, right? So balloons are going to come around. There's a big par parade going up there taking down that final camp and it looks like he's got a builder's hut down here in the bottom of the base. But I mean... Overall, stealing massive loot with 700,000 gold and 700,000 elixir. Yeah, 30 balloons, 35 minions. That's that army. Let's get into a different army. All right, so that was one replay for you. Let's go ahead and get into our question of the day real quick. So we got one from 116 Saints. Question of the day. Hey, Joe, for a Town Hall 10, where would the best loot for farming be? Check out Crystal League. And if you're not using miners, definitely check out miners. They are a phenomenal troop for farming. All right, so enough of question of the day. If you have a question of your own, go down in the comments below and 
hashtag question of the day and let's go ahead and get into a replay of the army that i'm currently using we've had a lot of success but not a lot of three stars and so it's really kind of finding those dead bases we're using 34 balloons and 20 minions with some rage spells and some hay spells and so this army is not exactly the most easiest to get used to if you are not used to using balloons i found that out the hard way because i'm used to using ground armies i've been using pekka army for the last couple of days and one thing about the pekkas is that you can basically set them down and they just destroy just about everything now the balloons are a very good army for, for sweeping bases but you got to plan for those air sweepers you got to deal with those expos and so we're kind of using just one hero here we only have one king we don't have our queen yet and we're trying to get this air defense down but we were unsuccessful so it's really a matter of setting up a funnel for your balloons to move through the base and take down the defenses while the minions and the pups from the lava hound clean up and that's kind of what happens here with these balloons is following the pathing using a rage spell to get these balloons to move down through the base and carry the minions into that archer queen as well as the use of a haste spell and so the haste spells are used for mainly speed that's what haste means uh, if you're not used to using them you got to really kind of plan them just right and uh and, and and manage them perfectly to make sure that you get the most out of your balloons so you're going to notice that that queen was taken down by the minions and the heal spells drop for our balloons now they're going to work their way up into a wizard tower which is extremely dangerous for balloons and that's where we're going to use the haste spells to carry these balloons launch them basically slingshot them into our final air defense and into that expo that was still alive i really should have gotten rid of that earlier in the raid but it just it worked out perfectly for us now they will kind of work their way up into these final defenses in the archer towers and that final hidden tesla but this army does require practice i've found that out like i said the hard way multiple times like if you don't time your spell drops perfectly you will lose these balloons especially against archer towers wizard towers hidden teslas and if the expos are still alive but either way we were successful on this base because one of the expos was down the queen did go down early and we will basically clean up and get a nice pool a very nice solid pool of about 400,000 golden elixir we will speed it up that way you can see the back end army as well as the loot gained let's see here those minions will finish up and what are we gonna pull here uh, 400 almost 500,000 golden elixir so that's phenomenal let's go do a live one all right so let's go ahead and do a live raid and see what we can put together like i said i'm still learning this army i kind of want to get something going with it and looks like our air defenses are spread we got two on the left side of the screen one on the right and one on the top side of the base air sweepers are facing west and east and we have a queen that's sitting right there but we got a massive haul of 600,000 gold on this base so i tell you what we're going to do we're going to try to do a little bit of funneling and come up from the south side so let's use our king right here and possibly a few minions to help out with getting a cannon down and try to pad these balloons up around the top of the base i don't know how this is going to work out but we're going to definitely find out the hard way either that or we're going to be greatly successful so queen or the king i wish i had a queen right now king's ability needs to be used and the minions are doing some work on that uh, let's see here let's get some balloons in there to take down that cannon and let's go ahead and get a nice wide spread on our balloons right through here and let's drop our hound to get into that air defense and drop a rage spell there, a haste spell there, and a haste spell there to get in on that uh, wizard tower. We gotta get rid of that wizard tower. And now let's go and get some minions down. Let's try to get through this queen's location. Queen is putting a hurting on our balloons. Let's go ahead and drop a rage up in this location here. And hopefully, let's see if we can move the balloons and send that hound down towards that final two air defenses. Use a haste spell there to carry our balloons down. Let's drop a heal spell in this location to help our balloons out as they power through this location. Queen is in the core which is not necessarily the best thing for us but we do have one haste spell remaining let's go ahead and launch our balloons down into that air defense and i think we got one more wizard tower we got to worry about yes so they're going to get on that wizard tower take it down quickly and they're going to finish up on that let's go ahead and get some minions down and unfortunately that queen is still in the core they're putting a hurting on our balloons maybe they might be able to take her out go night night girl there you go goodbye queen so balloons are going to be greatly successful thankfully we were able to nail this on a live raid <laughs> Ha ha ha.
This is I've only used this army. I haven't used this army. Let me rephrase that. I haven't used this army in a really, really, really long time. You know, you get used to using what you're like, and that's one of the greatest things about Clash of Clans is that there's so many different armies that you could use that you don't have to pick one over the other. If you don't like balloons, you could pick a ground army and use it just as well. So we're just trying new things out. I'm not going to say that I'm going to stick with this army because if it's not going to produce as fast as the other one, I will switch back. But that's just me personally. We're going to take a look at a different army. There's the army that I just used. Let's take a look at another army. Man, that was a great replay. So we were able to capture that live. I'm really happy about that, to be honest with you. I was kind of worried. I'm not going to lie to you because I, I don't use balloons a lot. And I was like, oh, we're going to probably fail live. But we nailed it. And so when it comes to the clan castle, I've tried a few attacks without the lava hound in the clan castle. And it just didn't work out for me, man. Like, it's just not a full 100% every single time. It really fails really bad without the tank. And so we're going to look at one of Lisa's replays here. And so she's using a different army with 28 balloons, 40 minions on really, really weak bases. And she's targeting the dark elixir. That's really her main focus because she's working on those heroes. Now, she's specifically not going to use her heroes in this attack because she just wants to show you that she can use the balloons and collect the dark elixir with her level two minions, level two minions. So, uh, you know, with, you can see that she doesn't have that lava hound and the lava hound really comes into play great because it blocks the air defenses. And without that block, without that tank, your, your balloons are just basically having to deal with those air defenses directly and getting picked off by the missiles very easily. But the point of this replay is to show you that she can collect the dark elixir like she wants to do and farming very, very fast with this army. And not a lot of dark elixir consumption with the minions. They're still kind of cheap. They're not as expensive as like the golem or the hog riders or the witches. Those are extremely expensive armies, but really nice army. If you want to try that one out, let's speed it up. That way you can see the army for yourself. And I think we're going to finish up this video with one more army that was used against me. That was actually really nice, but it's a heavy dark elixir army and something that you might be you know, interested in. I'm not really sure. So these minions are going to get picked off really, really fast with that air defense down there. She does not use all of her spells. She's holding on to those and saving some elixir. And that is the army right there. 28 and 40 and two rage spells, actually four rage spells, but let's go ahead and get into that other army. And to wrap up this video, I'm going to show you an epic failure on my part with the air defenses. We got three of those down under upgrade right now. And so our player here is going to exploit this and use it against us, which is, it is what it is. Like you got to upgrade them anyways. And you know, I'm not going to we're going to just farm and get our loot back anyways. But so he's using a expensive army. He's got uh, lava hounds. He's got a lot of balloons. It looks like he's got a dragon in the composition. But I just wanted to show you the epic failure on my part because <laughs> it kind of sucks, you know. And uh, these balloons are going to power through the base. Let's go ahead and speed up this army. That way you can see the army for yourself. If this is something that you like to use, by all means. He's got some hero levels that are a little lacking, level 13 and level 12. So this army is really good for those lower level heroes. That's something to take into consideration there. Using the haste spell to sweep through the bottom side of the base get into that final wizard tower actually the last wizard tower heroes are going to clean to the top side of the base and the dragon's going to steal my dark elixir he will hold on to one of those uh, lava hounds no he won't he's going to drop it i don't know why he dropped it why did he drop your lava <laughs> I just don't get it. Anyways, that was a little bit of a waste of Dark Elixir, but it is what it is. So there's that army for you guys if you are interested in that. And don't forget about that free gold pass, guys. You'll have a few minutes after the posting of this video to register for that. So make sure you join Discord. And if you enjoy the content today, smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And we will see you in the next one, guys. Take care.